Hi guys, uh, welcome back uh, and welcome to any new uh, people that are joining us. Tonight I'm going to tie uh, an American fly. Uh, now, if I was asked to think of an American pattern, I suppose if I asked you as well, a lot of you would come up with something as iconic as a woolly bugger. So tonight we're going to tie an olive woolly bugger. And this fly pattern has probably caught hundreds of thousands if not millions of fish I would say in its time. Uh, so we're using a long shank lure hook here and I'm going to use a gold or brass bead and uh, this one's a, a 3 16 and this is a size uh, 6 hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the hook and pass it through the small eye of our bead, slide that up to the eye of the hook and then we'll fix that in the vise. So what we're going to do now is secure the bead in place and I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a bit of lead wire. Uh, now you can use non-lead or lead free wire as well. Um, so what we're going to do here is I take the length of lead wire and then under a bit of tension I'm going to wrap that on uh, probably a centimeter or so uh, and then what we'll do is we will slide that up into the back of our bead. So sure. now we're going to add our thread but first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little run of super glue onto the lead and onto the shank of the hook there. Now we'll take our thread now I'm using a black thread here and I go a little bit onto the uh, the lead wire wraps and then I'm going to wrap backwards and snap that off and that'll give us a good solid uh, base to tie our fly on. So the tail on this thing is going to be olive marabou. So there's a variety of ways of tying bugger tails in. We'll maybe do that over a couple of different videos. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to take a, an olive marabou uh, and I'm going to strip a side of it and we'll use that. So we'll strip a side and then we'll just create one bunch with the whole thing. And then I'm going to cut off rough ends. So, what we'll do now is we're going to set that up here on top of the shank and then I'm going to wrap back over it until I get to a point that's sort of somewhere around about the barb of our hook here. So then you have to make a decision about your tail. Uh, are you going to leave it long like that? Or are you going to trim it? Um, personally I like longish tails on these sorts of flies. Uh, I think it gives added motion but a lot of people will trim them. If you're going to trim them do not just take scissors and cut it straight because it will look really unnatural. So what you want to do is rip the tip off. So hold it tight in this uh, hand, rip it off. As you can see it gives us a more natural sort of a less blunt end to the things. So another tip now before we go on any further is I find that flies that have uh, marabou tails and therefore marabou tied in along the shank do tend to rust your hooks. So what I would tend to do here is while that's still fairly loosely wrapped on is to just take a clear varnish, a thin one and just let that soak down into the shank of the hook try not to get it back onto your tail and then I'll wrap into that So, 
now we have to decide on a uh, body so a lot of these flies are using uh, chenille as a body uh, so I'm going to use a chenille uh, and then I'm going to palmer a hackle down it so once you palmer a hackle you have to decide how you're going to fix that in some people will tie it in here at the base and just wrap the hackle forward uh, looks grand don't think it's overly strong uh, some people will head back and then they will uh, they'll use their thread to come through it but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach a wire so a wire rib uh, here I'm using uh, a gold wire although if you want to in keep with your olive theme you could use an olive wire uh, and then the body we're going to use uh, an olive chenille so I suppose there's lots of different types of chenille so this is a very tight suede chenille this also is marketed as a suede chenille but it's a much more open sort of construct of stuff so again that's up to your to yourself as to which one you would you would choose to use um, so we're going to use the tighter olive suede chenille for this one what I do is I would just strip a bit of the core you can see that then tie it up here well out of the way of it and then I will pull the chenille back so that the core the empty bit of the core is just level with the back of my fly here and then that means that I don't have any lumps or bumps to wrap over and I should get a nice smooth body so uh, now what we want to do is take our chenille and wrap it forwards in touch and turns to create a nice even hopefully body I'm stopping about a turn short of the uh, head here get that to dig in and you know, I just force my nail into it just to fold the chenille a bit better and then I'm going to trim that off so next we're going to uh, apply a palmer tackle so uh, our options here would be either to go with a uh, cock hackle which will be quite spiky uh, or we can go with uh, like a more saddle typed schlappany type feather if we go with a schlappany type feather uh, it can be a bit more webby difficult to to tie in uh, and sometimes what you can do is you can strip one side of the feather the leading edge of it uh, and it will create a, a less dense effect as you wrap it uh, so I think what we'll do here is to use the slap on one so I have stripped as you've seen one side of it we'll nick off uh, the base of it and on that last little bit of stock we're just going to tie that in and you can see that'll fold down in behind the eye here hackle pliers on and then one turn directly behind the bead that gives us the start of our sort of collar and then we will wrap backwards and open sort of turns until we get to the back end of our fly so you'll probably find most people aim for like five turns of hackle generally on a body five to six um, so now when we're back here what we'll take is our uh, wire rib I'm just gonna well, once it's under tension I can nick off the end 
of the hackle and then I wrap this forward now you can see what I'm doing is I'm sort of wiggling I'm keeping it on line but I'm just sort of allowing it to find its own path through the uh, hackle fibers without tying them down is the, is the idea now if it does get in the way of something you need a botkin or something like that so once we get to the front here what I'll do is I'll just stroke back and hold back my fibers and I'll put on a couple of turns of my wire and then I pull tight and it snaps now if you did that with one turn it would probably fall off but once you have two turns on you can then take your tying thread and just catch over those and that and keep that in place. You can tie across it and wiggle it or cut it off, fold it on itself. I just like doing it that way. And essentially the fly is finished. Now you can choose uh, how you're going to do this. So you can whip finish it at this point and varnish it. Uh, or what I like to do with things that put beads on them like this is I would take something like a hand spectra dub. So uh, I would take something along the the colour code that we're aiming at. So this is like an olive hen spectre dub, and I'll just put a little bit of that onto my thread. And then I'm gonna take my super glue on a little brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that super glue just behind the bead, and then I will wrap my little blob of hands there and then I'll put a half hitch on and let that slide down behind my bead into the super glue and that will set that in position then we'll trim off the hand thread and that is our fly tied as you can see the uh, little hands just it uh, neatens up the head behind the bead and doesn't leave you that sort of dead space so now I'll just take a little bit of uh, clear varnish. You use your super glue again, and just let that soak into that tie end point of that. So that is our uh, olive woolly bugger tied. Uh, so as per usual, if you like what you saw, uh, use the like button, like, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, follow us on Facebook, uh, there will be lots more flies hopefully in the future. Uh, check out the back catalogue and uh, until next time, uh, tight lines and thanks for watching.